All right, so, yeah, we got to talk about something, guys. Uh, just a reminder for those of you who like G Fuel and didn't know, I do have my own G Fuel code now, so if you guys want to use code FOXY, you guys get 30% off until April 9th. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. I don't know when I'm going to have another 30% you know code available but uh after april 9th it'll be 10 percent off until the next time my code gets the 30 percent deal so it actually r really does help me continue to make content for the channel as well so but anyways today we're going to be talking about some stuff that i found out um me and dismo were like chilling in discord the other day we found out some shit and i'm not happy about it it's especially with black ops 4 activision and Treyarch really d outdid themselves with this one they they outdid themselves and they uh they found a loophole in the whole cosmetic only type of shit that we're talking about so i'm gonna put a screenshot up on the screen right here as you guys can see this account does not have the default cap 40 unlocked the only cap 40 it has is the mk2 a signature weapon and you can use the mk2 signature weapon in the game and how do you get that mk2 signature variant the reserves you can only get them through the reserves if you break it down all the way the reserves in this game are not cosmetic only they're not but because they are labeled an mk2 variant they are looked at as a cosmetic technically cosmetic bull fucking shit let's talk about this Let's go, bros. I want to support this game, man. I want to support this game. I really do. I really want to support this game. I really want to play this game and not feel scummy for playing it, you know? I, I feel like this game is a fun game, especially with bare bones and things like that. It's fun. The game is fun with bare bones, but this shitty ass bullshit lying bullshit, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, they've lied in previous years, and yes, it's a good thing that people can get the weapons out of the drops. Like I said last year, and like I said for Black Ops 3, don't tell people that they can't get the weapons out of the drops when they can. Just fucking tell us that we can. Just just be honest. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be pissed off. I wouldn't be like so mad. Or, like, so irritated if, you know, they just said, oh, yeah, you're not cosmetic only, you know. Uh, you can get the weapons out of the drops from MK2 signature weapons. I wouldn't be mad about them lying because they would be honest and they'd be telling the truth. I'd be pissed off at how they're doing it, but I can't sit there and say, oh, they're being scummy at, like at, by lying. They're just being scummy by terrible microtransactions in the game you know oh my god man it just i don't play this game a lot anymore you guys see i'm level 256 and it's just i just don't play this game like i did when this game was first out i was like hell yeah this game is dope i like this game i really like how it feels because i do and then a lot of this cheap stuff started coming out you know the specialists started to become annoying as fuck and I, and I, oh my god, I don't know how I got that. But, and, and, you know, that that's a part of the game. The specialists are a part of the game, so like, I'll give that a break. But the way that the microtransactions have been handled, the way that, mm, fuck, man, the lies. Stop the lies. Stop lying. Just fucking tell us that they're not, a, that they're, that they're in the drops. I suck balls. Just tell us that they're in the drops. I don't understand what's so hard about that. And, you know, it... So, the, the way I think about it is also, it makes sense on how they kind of marketed and how they planned this kind of thing with the MK2s. So, you guys remember the signature weapons at the beginning of this game's life cycle, right? You guys remember how they basically ha had the signature weapons for the ICR, the Titan, and the GKS. And it wasn't a huge deal. You guys remember that? People were like, oh, it's cosmetic only. It's it's okay. You know, it's not for DLC weapons either. It's not like they're locking the DLC weapons behind, you know, uh, drops and things like that. And, you know, all that stuff. And I, I was just like, all right, whatever. I mean, if they're cosmetic variants and they don't have stat changing variants and things like that. And it just changes the look of the gun. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. No big deal. And then if you notice, those DLC weapons came out. The, the Daemon. The Double kill. I'm trying to think the Damon, the SWAT, the Cat 40, and wasn't it? It was a melee weapon. I think it was that uh that crowbar or whatever. The crowbar basically. So they had those. And it's like, okay, that's cool. Whatever. Those weapons come out, right? And then a little bit after that, they have those signature weapons or MK2 variants. They change it from signature weapons to MK2s. And basically the MK2s gave you 25% more XP, but they were only for the DLC weapons at first. Like when those MK2s first came out, they were for the DLC weapons only. And like, since everyone had the signature weapons for 
And see, since everyone had the signature weapons for the ICR, the Titan, and the GKS, everyone was like, oh, cool. So we get them for the DLC weapons that are for this contraband. And then we also get them for the weapons that are default weapons in the game. When the MK2s came out, that's when the reserves were introduced as, as far as like, you could earn reserves like supply drops. Like, that's when that was made available. If you really think about it, that's when the reserves were made available. It's it's super scummy. It's scummy, dude. Like, it, it, I think about it, and it's funny, but it's not funny because it's literally just... It's almost like BO3 all over again, but kind of worse in a way. Or they give you more options to basically get the weapons. You can either pay 100 bucks for all the weapons and all the stuff in the contraband, or you can risk your money... If you want to buy reserves or you can just earn the the reserves by themselves which is fine but it's always it's only one reserve it's not like it's a supply drop where you earn a supply drop with three items so say you earn those instead of the the reserves they only give you one that that that's different that's completely different than just earning one item but still man still they're locking DLC weapons behind a, a paywall again. And not just a paywall where you just pay the money and then you get them. It's a random loot paywall. That's worse. It's, it's worse. And they lied about it on top of it, which, like, really sucks. It really sucks. It, it's just, like, just when you thought Call of Duty Double and kill. Activision couldn't get any scummier and they wouldn't get, and they wouldn't stoop so low. They did. And I'll tell you why. It's probably because the game sales aren't there or no one's playing the game as much anymore so they're not making as much money they're not selling call of duty throughout the year like they used to because of things like this i will say that this playlist actually has brought some life back into the game i like this playlist a lot but it's hard to support a game when the devs can't just do their job and the publisher just gets involved in almost every little detail you know i love call of duty man I really do, but it's really sad when we can't even just play a game, man. We can't even play a game, a, a, a complete game. We can't even have a complete game anymore for Call of Duty. We can't. It's, it's like impossible now. Double kill. Oh, man, get turned on. What are you doing? It's just crazy to think about, man. And yeah, like the MK2s for the Scar and the Cordite, those are fine. I don't care about those. That That's cool. I like I like that kind of stuff. I like different looks to a gun and the Scar variant or the Rampart variant looks really dope. I like it. But the DLC weapons, man. It's the DLC weapons that pissed me off. And I guarantee you, the ne I, watch, the next, the next contraband is going to have variants or they're going to come out with variants or signature weapons for the shot, the new shotgun. Oh my goodness, dude. The next MK2s that they come out with will most likely be the Rampage Shotgun, the Switchblade uh, MX, not, uh, MX whatever fuck it's called, and those will be the main two because those were the last two DLC guns that we had. They just had some come out for regular weapons. I sound like a conspiracy theorist when I say this, but it's just it's just facts. Like, if you look at it, if you look at it like this, thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I'm not really going to play much more. Uh, I'm kind of just, that's kind of all the video was. It's probably going to be a short video anyways. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys use code FOXY on uh, gfuel.com. I do appreciate it. 30% off until April 9th directly supports me as well. So thank you guys so much if you guys have. Uh, there's been a couple of people who have used the code already, and I cannot thank you guys enough, man. That, that's, that's, that's really awesome. My voice just cracked. So I'm just going to leave now. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Come on.